You've had a bloody good career. Over 200 games, two clubs, Brownlow votes. Never won a best and fairest, but I think you're a highly consistent top five, top ten player. How do you how do you reflect on it all? Like you, you finish up at West Coast, you happy? I'm really content, mate. I couldn't have asked for a better better career personally. As a kid growing up, growing up, you just that's all you want to do is play AFL. To finish with two sixty odd games and a grand final is pretty special. So I'm really content and the decision was made easy by me. Like I'm happy where we're at and I know where the club's headed. Um I, th- I just felt like the time was right and um, I thought a list spot would probably be better for a kid um, at this stage of where West Coast are at and where they're headed and um, couldn't have asked for a, a better career for me personally. Seven, seven years at Brisbane, I learned a lot at Brisbane, very grateful for the opportunity they gave me but um, I'm so glad I come over here and experience uh, footy over the other side on the West. So uh, very grateful and uh, humbled by the way it's all played out, mate. You had some attention over the la- over the weekend. Uh, we're, we're interviewing you on a Monday here. Has it been a big weekend after you retire on, on Friday? It is. Like, I didn't expect it to be this much, but obviously um, made the decision. The club um, ticked it off, that sort of stuff. I tell everyone close to me. Um but then tell the boys and then obviously it gets released and then everyone who you've sort of crossed paths with on the journey gets in touch, whether it be for the phone call, social media, uh, text message or something. And it just brings up, uh, you reminisce on all the good times you've had over your career and it's pretty special. You get a little bit emotional. Like it's it's pretty amazing uh, roller coaster journey. So um, incredibly grateful and uh, it's quite emotional over the last week, yeah. Did you... Um did you get to speak to the boys? Like, like, did you get to announce it per se, or did well, you just speak to some of them? I, I, I personally made an effort to tell all the ones I'm really close to, and then I, well, you know, we've got, we've got WhatsApps and that sort of stuff now. I made a, uh, just noted noted that I, what my decision was and uh, how much they all meant to me and that sort of stuff. But I'll, I'll use this next sort of three weeks after this kid arrives to really get around everyone and uh, I'm sure we'll get together and see all the boys and um, have a few beers. Are you still in the WhatsApp group? Have you left? No, nah, I've been kicked out. Nah. <laughs> That's cool. Nah. I, um, I said said my goodbyes and... Uh, Are you still in it or not? No, nah, I'm out. Yeah. You, did, did you, you did leave or did you get moved? No, nah, no, I left. Wow. But, um, That's a I was probably reading the play a little bit. I was probably a week away from getting the ass. you got to do it. You know, yeah. Otherwise, like, it's awkward. It's yeah, like, yeah, what's still doing yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. And they're planning Eugene stuff and Allen. stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Did, um, who was the uh, sort of most left of field person to hit you up um, to, like, congratulate you on retiring? Uh, left of field? No, I think everyone who I've sort of crossed paths with, like, I haven't had much to do, but, like, Justin Langer um, was obviously on the board for West Coast. He reached out to me and said how much my contributions to the club and that sort of stuff and he's 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 an interesting dude he's such a cool bloke um and obviously respect him admire what he's done at his cricket and coaching and that sort of stuff it's so good he's fine he's working off uh, message him to come yeah. on back chat <laughs> <laughs> yeah it works yeah <laughs>